Nearly 4,000 litres of blood are used every day in the NHS, and at times supplies run dangerously low. Now British scientists hope to create synthetic blood using embryonic stem cells. They believe they could produce an unlimited supply of red blood cells, the oxygen-carrying cells that are given to patients during operations or following accidents. The blood would be O group, which can be given to anyone without fear of causing tissue rejection during a transfusion. And because the blood is made in the lab, there's no risk of transferring viruses or other infectious agents. This is how the scientists plan to make the blood. First, a human egg and sperm are mixed in the lab to create an embryo. That's the same process used in fertility treatments like IVF. At the six- to eight-day stage of development, it's possible to extract stem cells from the embryo. The stem cells are then placed in a liquid that's rich in nutrients that turns them into red blood cells. But each litre of blood contains five trillion cells, so scientists would have to make blood on a vast scale. The Wellcome Trust is putting £3 million towards the project. Scientists hope to start the first experimental transfusions into volunteers in just three years' time. Thomas Moore, Sky News.